Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So you worked on these pictures in uh, different areas, different states, cities? My pictures mainly come from Mexico City. Oh, since really? I'm based there and I have sort of my day job uh -huh. there. Uh, I'm a photo editor with the Associated Press. Uh -huh. uh, so on my own time, I go out and take pictures of Charreria. Uh -huh. But I focused on the women. On the women? Yeah, because I had never seen the sport before until okay. I moved to Mexico City. Uh, I wanted to take pictures of class, something very classic and iconic, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mexican as a personal project. And when mm -hmm. I saw the women, I was floored. Oh. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, six to seven years, six or 2008, when I moved there. And just okay. very little by little, on my off time, mm -hmm. uh, discovered that there are uh, lienzos, you know, the rodeo arenas, mm -hmm. all over Mexico City and outside of Mexico City, mm -hmm. all obviously across the country. Mm -hmm. But they're hidden. You don't really notice them and they don't really promote themselves too mm -hmm. much. Uh, but they're these little gems that dot the city mm -hmm. and I would go online and find their events and and go to the ferias. I go to the ferias more than anything because there'll be like there'll be 10 to 20 teams uh, competing. Whereas at a charreria there's only two teams. So for a photographer mm -hmm. to you know maximize the... Uh, do, you, do you notice a difference between over there in Mexico and the escaramuzas here in the United States? Well, I've never seen the escaramuzas no, here. No, yeah. But I got online and saw there were tons of teams here. There's hundreds of teams in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, and I was, I was, I thought that was really cool. That was really cool. So.